Oh yeah, so this is the last part, I guess, of where I work, is the bottom shelf. And uh, the bottom shelf is my photography shelf, so don't worry about that. This is my model shelf. If I look in here, what is it? Oh yeah, this is my box models. <laughs> White Knight has a whole shelf full, like a whole, I guess, cupboard full of these models stacked. I have this little box. Yay for me! Um, but I, I don't, I don't know. Um, what did I do? The other day I picked up, not the other day, I keep saying the other day. This has been going on for months. Okay, months ago I picked up this uh, Gundam, Cerevi Gundam fighting kit, and it's uh, is eight bucks at Hobbyco, and I um, picked that up because it looks cool. It looks kind of towel like, and I made a video of it, which I haven't put up yet, um, about how I'm going to use this. Okay, I won't talk about that now. And uh, what else? I've got some Mantic Elves that I got randomly for another project, uh, which isn't working out that well uh, because the scale is slightly wrong. It's more of a true scale at 28 millimeter, and it's not a hero scale. Um, but they're really cute models. Uh, what is this? This is my Orcs. I, it's in an old cool box though. Cool boxes are awesome. I love these old things. Uh, yeah, just some kind of tractor stuff, some World War II models, and some more uh, anti-aircraft guns. There's a reason why I got these. These, these are all part of the same project, uh, which I can't tell you about. I can tell you about, but uh, I made like the problem is that I made all these videos, and now I haven't finished editing them. Anyway, this project is. Um, my it's called cheapskate. I don't know why, but it's meant to be the idea that uh, either it's a Tau anti-aircraft gunship thing, um, so it's this cool like retro Tau thing. It might be an orc, um, orcs. I, I can't remember what the word is, but they commandeer vehicles, uh, and Canvas One does some brilliant conversions. So it's kind of like that. It's inspired by you, Canvas One. Um, so it's a it's if orcs had captured a tau vehicle and tried to retrofit it in a really analog way um, to make it into a gun turret, a sort of a walking mech anti-aircraft gun turret. So I'm working on that. Uh, it could also be a steampunk dwarf uh, gun turret that I'm also working on. Uh, I might just get more of these boxes. They're only eight dollars, and they they're really great. Like if I was to make this out of plastic card uh, as a basis. Um, it would take me ages, so, you know, eight bucks and I've got this and I can build on it. So I thought of making a, um, and it's not meant to look like this, I've, I've completely turned it upside down and moved bits around and stuck bits here and there to make it into more of a, a gun turret thing, see it's shooting its lasers, and um, I thought of making a steampunk one uh, for Terrainaholic to use with his uh, steampunk gunships. So anyway, that's that. Oh man, this video is going on and on and on, but it is cathartic to get it out of the way. Um, so then over here we have bits and pieces, and what do we have? I have my Dettol, this is how I do my cleaning, soak stuff in Dettol for 24 hours, it just comes off fantastically. This is a, a little space marine guy, and he was soaked in Dettol. Um, he's my, this is my success story. It isn't always this easy, uh, but he was soaked in Dettol for 12 hours and then the paint just literally slipped off him like a skin leaving this perfect plastic now the new the new pla this is and this is a very old space marine i guess but the new plastic and especially with stuff that's been black primed it isn't so easy uh but it still works out really well so then i've got my my tubs my four tubs these are the four pillars of my hobby i guess i've got my display Turntable inspired by Manius Augusta Calgar. Uh, maybe it's a bit early to have a display table, but it's exciting nevertheless. I've got my bits box. Um, this is terrain bits, bits of junk, cardboard, trees, um, bits of slate, bits of bark, um, bits of plastic, bits of wire. Uh, I've got my little um, choice logs and stuff for basing. I've got my four tubs. My first tub is. Um, 
Sculpey and basing bits and it's mainly my sculpture bit so it's got my knives and my pokers and prodders and, and a magnifying glass, glue gun, stuff like that. And what have I got here? My second box. This is a dedication to all the guys who have shelves full of tackle boxes. Uh, this is my second box is my models. Uh, I'll do another video on this but I actually this is a secret. I have I'm I'm only three months into the hobby but when I was eight I did the I did some painting when I was eight years old uh, for about, I don't know, well, I did three models. <laughs> and this is the leftover from when I was eight. My parents bought me some used models from a friend at school, which I guess is why I enjoy them used. Um, but I'm going to do a little sit down in the spirit of Jedi Jim later in the week and go through this box with you guys because this is stuff from 1991. Uh, so some fun old stuff in there. And, and show you some of my stuff that I was doing when I was eight years old. What do we got? This is the third box. This is my painting box, and my sponge, uh, gloves, dipping, army painted dip. I went all out. I bought, I bought things that I needed. Um, quick shade, brush cleaner, palettes, funny little color things, I don't know why. Uh, so I use a wet palette using this plastic and sponge, some chalk for weathering. Um, a sieve for basing and stuff like that, cleaner. That's that. What else? Okay, and box number four is my basing box. So this is when I've gone crazy at the hobby shop. I some gravel from the $2 shop. This is actually really cool. A massive bag of gravel. It costs $1.50 and uh, really nicely different sizes and some quite rocky and really detailed. It's a lot of detail. Um, and then all my basing stuff, so I don't need to go into that. Flocking, trees, scrubs, everything. Have I used any basing stuff yet? No. No, I haven't. Isn't that incredible? I've got this entire box of basing stuff. I haven't used any. So I'm working on some stuff that I will base appropriately. Put those back later on. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you, or I'll put them back now. I like to be clean. Uh, oh, my Bart Simpson bag. What are you hiding, Bart? Oh, this is my Tyranids. Same story. Picked them up on eBay for, you know, 11 bucks. Uh, it's a bag full of... Whoa, it was a bag full of uh, Termagants and uh, some gene stealers that I'm doing a project with. So, let me tell you about the, th the projects.